Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this Buddhist treasure mesh design. Um, it's a treasure mesh with diagonal clove hitch knots. Um, so again, I grabbed my clipboard and I measured 12 cords of two millimeter three ply cotton twisted rope. So it's two millimeters, it's small. I attached each cord to a thicker piece of cotton cord and this is just you know to practice this design and to show you here. You can use this method on a larger wall hanging um, within your wall hanging and even within a plant hanger. So I attached two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve cords with the lark's head knot. And then I'll show you how to do each square knot. And then we do diagonal clove hitch knots on each cord. And you repeat that pattern over and over. So I have one, two, three, four rows already complete. And I'll continue the design here and show you each step. Okay, so first I'm going to take my first four cords and make a square knot. That's by numbering each cord one through four. Taking cord one, making a forward facing four. Taking cord four, placing it over cord one, behind, and through your loop. This is a left facing half knot. And then you'll do the opposite. You'll make backwards facing four. Bring the first cord over. Behind and through your loop. And tighten. And that's how you do your square knot. And we'll do that all the way across using four cords for each knot. And this is exactly what you do for the first row after you attach each cord with the Lark's head knot. With this design, you can make it a little looser and you'll be able to see each knot a little bit better. Um, but I macrame pretty tight, so I like all of my designs to be tight and close together. And that's just how I enjoy knotting so much. I don't have to really focus on spacing as much because everything's tight together and I know that it's going to be uniform and even. Okay, so you've done your row of square knots, and now for each cord, we're going to do diagonal clove hitch knots. You're going to take your first cord, and you're going to pull it over from left to right, and you're going to take the second cord, and you're going to tie clove hitch knots. So here's your first cord. You'll put it over and pull it through the loop. Hold it at an angle from left to right, tighten, and then you'll do the same thing again. That is the first clove hitch knot. Okay, you'll do the same thing but the opposite way from right to left. Hold your filler cord from right to left. This is your knotting cord. Do a diagonal clove hitch knot. Over, through the loop, over, through the loop. Tighten. And you'll do that all the way across.
so I'll show you again. We'll take the first chord, hold it from left to right, take your knotting cord, place it over, pull it through, tighten. And you can do that twice to complete the quote hitch knot. So it's pointing left to right, and then right to left. This is a great way to practice both diagonal clove hitch knots. Okay, so now you have that. And now you're going to do alternating square knots. So we'll skip the first two. Put that to the side, and then you'll take the next four, and you'll do your square knot. Next four. Okay, last one. We'll pull the last two to the side. Use the next four chords. And that's what makes this a mesh, is that you're alternating, doing alternating square knots throughout. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Pull the first two aside, and now you're going to do the diagonal clove hitch knots all the way across again, from left to right. And now, from right to left. Last two. Leave these off. Okay, and now we're going to be doing our last row of square knots. So we'll take the first four chords and tie a square knot. Stopping the bottom of the last Quote pitch knot. And so I should point out that the first chord in your four chords that you're knotting with, the first one is the filler chord that you used. The middle chords are the knotting chord. The last chord is the filler chord.
I have made a very large wall hanging using this design and it is a lot of fun. It's totally different going from really small rope to, well actually for me, from really thick rope to small rope. With the thicker rope you can see the design much better. Okay, so now you'll do your last four. And there you go. That is how you do the Buddhist treasure mesh with diagonal clove hitch knots. If you have any questions or want me to show you how to do this with larger rope or if you have any questions, just post them below. Again, this is using two millimeter cotton cord, 12 cords folded in half attached with a lark's head knot. Thank you for watching.